Oh, now y'all knew. Y'all knew. Y'all have to know it wasn't going to be long before I talked about this bullshit. So this article was put out on the boxing scene by a Thomas Hauser. Now, I want to read something, an excerpt from what he said in his interview about this failed drug test. I want, I want y'all to really listen to these words real fast. He states, someone, won't name his source, advised about the possibility. Advised about the possibility. Well, let me put it like this. There is no possibility. Either the man failed a drug test or he didn't fail a drug test. It's not possible that he failed a drug test. He could possibly shit out kangaroos that shit out rainbows that shit out Skittles. That's a possibility. But is it fact? Probably not. See, I don't even trust this Thomas Hauser at all because I listened to a YouTube interview he gave about this. And the whole interview, he kept bringing up Al Heyman and sucking Al Heyman's dick throughout the entirety. Talking about Al Heyman does this for his fighters. He's as sure as this for his fighters. This ain't even about Al Heyman. Why you keep bringing him up? Which is funny to me because Al Heyman's fighter is Deontay Wilder, who is about to fight Dillian White, which we all know Dillian White gonna knock Wilder the fuck out. See, it's all about that payroll. It's all about that spin. It's all about that bullshit. I know Eddie Hearn, on the other hand, <coughs> he released a statement that both Rivers and White were cleared to fight. So you have that. As far as actual source of like what Hauser will not give. And then you have Oscar Rivas' team who said, the first day I ever heard of Dillian White failing a drug test was reading the article on theboxingscene.com. So until I see an official source, until I see them officially coming out with it, I'm going to say this is bullshit, propaganda made by an Al Heyman dick-sucking reporter who's on the payroll, who's trying to smear Dillian White because they're trying to keep Dillian White away from Deontay Wilder. Like this says right here, 600 plus days at number one in the WBC. The longest wait in history for a title shot with any governing body, which means they don't want this man to fight him. They don't want it to happen because they already know what the outcome is going to be. I know what the outcome is going to be. I've been saying it for a long time now. And if Dillian White is guilty of failing a drug test, then I will bring the hammer down on him. I will bring all criticism on him. But I will say this. Regardless if he was clean or not clean, how he beat Rivas was off the jab and technical boxing skills. No PED helped him win the fight because of how he won the fight. He outboxed Rivas. You could take all the steroids in the world and it's not going to help you become a good fighter. That's not how you become a good fighter. Being a good fighter is by being a good fighter. Steroids can make you better, recover faster. Sometimes, depending on what you take, got better endurance, recovery time, etc. But it will not make you a better fighter. It cannot do that. It can make you hit harder. And like I said, it can make you recover better and sometimes improve your endurance. But if you can't fight, you can't fight. Period. So, Dillian White beat Oscar Rivas off his jab. He outboxed a very technical boxer which was amazing to see done. Now, if he fails again, I will give him everything he deserves. All the trash will come his way. All my criticism will come his way. But until this is a given, a legitimate source, which he wouldn't even name his source. He wouldn't even name who it came from. Because he knows if he comes out there and says for sure, not a possibility, but says for sure he failed, then guess what? He could get sued. For defamation. See, if he says there's a possibility and leaves the source unsourced, then the source can't be checked. Therefore, he can't be caught in a lie. So that's why the way he worded things, I don't really believe him. I don't believe him at all. But we'll see how this plays out. I just don't believe it. I don't believe it at all. I hope it's not true. Dylan, I hope you didn't take drugs. If anything, I would have thought Oscar Rivas would have got popped. 
Because that motherfucker, I don't care what anybody says. The dude, I've met him in real life. I've seen him in real life. They say he's six foot tall. He's only 5'10". And the tall is 5'11". He ain't six foot tall. He's not that tall. He's 240 pounds of pure muscle. He probably walks around about 7 to 8% body fat at 240 and 5'10", 11 at the talls. That's not natural. But it is what it is. I hope y'all enjoyed this. We're going to stay with this because I've already stayed. I believe Dillian White's the best boxer in the heavyweight division at this point. So we're going to see how it plays out. Thank y'all for watching.